Hey everyone, welcome to another proven sales letter breakdown video. My name is Chaba, I'm the founder of Game of Conversions and each day I'm breaking down a proven copywriting sales letter from the best of the best across the entire direct response uh, history uh, and I'm doing this for 100 days. So today we are on the 73rd video, I think. It's getting hard to uh, uh, like uh, actually know where I am with this one. Uh, but today I have another Claude Hopkins promotion for you. Uh, and why Claude Hopkins? Because he is the grandfather of direct response marketing. He was the first person who, who realized that, you know, marketing shouldn't be this clever, creative type of thing uh, that no one can even measure. Uh, instead, he wrote a book called Scientific Advertising and then My Life in Advertising as well. And um, he laid the, laid the groundwork for a more scientific uh, type of, uh, of, of uh, marketing strategy, which means that it's all about measurement, which means that it's all about, uh, you know, uh, getting the sale. That's it. It's not about awards and winning creative awards or something. It's about coming up with uh, something and testing various hypotheses to find something that actually works, to find something that our customers are going to vote for with their wallets. And uh, that's the whole uh, type of copywriter that my channel is all about, direct response copywriting. And even though this ad is 100 years old, so I chose something which is exactly 100 years old, and the language is slightly different compared to how we use it nowadays. The persuasion elements are still the same because human psychology doesn't change. Seasons change, uh, tactics and tools and, and mediums and traffic strategies change, but the fundamentals of persuasion and copywriting doesn't change. And this was one of the first ads that actually laid the groundwork for all the all the funnels, all the click funnels, all the uh, various marketing strategies and, and sales letters and VSLs and landing pages and Facebook ads and YouTube ads. He was the guy who actually invented this stuff, okay? So whenever you start following a, a new way guru or someone who like, uh, they act like they discovered something re revolutionary new, well, not really. Most of the times uh, they just, you know, in some shape or form, they just appeal back to an older thing discovered by people like Lot Hopkins. So uh, just know this uh, as, as you're uh, studying marketing. So this one, uh, this ad is actually a newspaper ad for uh, Pepsodent. So this was kind of like toothpaste. toothpaste. And if you're wondering like, wow, Chaba, uh, people use copywriting to sell toothpaste? Well, of course they did. So even to this day, like e-commerce, the, the, um, the smarter e-commerce e companies are definitely using good copywriters. Most e-commerce companies aren't using them. Uh, for some reason, it's not really fashionable nowadays. But back in the day, uh, people like Claude Hopkins, they were superstar copywriters. And the best of the best companies hired them uh, to write all sorts of ads for various products. And I don't know, ex I don't remember the exact specifics, but like... Uh, in, in, in the early 1900s, Claude Hopkins was the highest paid copywriter ever. Like, I think he had a yearly salary of like $100,000, which is mind boggling if you think about it, uh, in, in those dollar terms. Like $100,000 in 1920, it's like $6 million today or something. So he was employed and he got that big of a salary. So think about it for a second. That's quite a lot of money, especially then when uh, marketing wasn't really that uh, super competitive like nowadays. But anyway, regarding the copy itself and regarding the page itself, uh, the headline uh, is very simple. It says, this 10-day test has shown millions the way to white teeth. All statements approved by high dental authorities. So what's happening here? First of all, we have an image uh, which evokes positive emotions. This is about smiles. This is about, you know, how to uh, have whiter teeth, better teeth, uh, less crooked teeth or something like that. Okay. And uh, this smile, you know, it really is something that encapsulates the, the main... Um, desires of our target audience okay obviously um women wanted to look good they wanted to get like a good husband husbands wanted to get, look good because they wanted to uh get good wives and uh you know 
products like Pepsi then basically acted as the mediator between these things. So I like the image. I think it draws attention. And then the genius thing here is actually the 10 day test because this is a trial actually it's a free trial okay uh, just like any other subscription service or any other product uh, you have a free trial and then you can pay if you want but in this case uh, Claude Hopkins decided to go with day test okay 10 day test and it's way more persuasive way more interesting it sounds way uh, it's it flips the script a little bit because trial people already know even in that times in 1921 they know that it has to do with some with buying something but 10 day test it assumes that they can be part of this greater thing okay and uh, and it's like if they're curious even at least a bit um, they can just participate in this test and obviously the next logical question for people would be okay but how do i know that this is legit well that's why the subhead is has shown millions the way to white teeth so we immediately follow up with social proof so i noticed that uh, in several cases even though the ad is super short um in most cases Claude Hopkins definitely has a lot of social proof he inside and he also has a lot of reason why copy. So if you are not familiar with reason why copy, go watch my previous video. I'm going to leave a link below this one in the description section uh, to the entire uh, proven sales letter breakdown playlist. So go check out my previous video, which is also an ad from Claude Hopkins and uh, just see uh that what, what uh reason why copy actually is i explained it in much more detail so go down open those videos and also if you're enjoying these videos then make sure to like it uh subscribe comment you know share this good stuff because i do want to create the the best free um resource library on youtube uh, when it comes to proven sales that are breakdowns and you know people who are interested in it uh, i want it to get to uh, more and more people who are interested okay that's my mission with it uh, and any help is definitely appreciated. But getting back to Claude Hopkins, you know, he has proof elements, has shown millions. This is social proof. All statements approved by high dental authorities. This is uh, another type of proof. And then um, I'm probably not going to read the entire copy because it's it's a little bit different. So uh, nowadays we, we use terms and, and, and sentence structures a little bit differently. But, uh, but some, some elements are still worth reading. For example, the, the lead, let's say this is the lead of this sales letter, you know, the um, initial important part of any sales letter that builds emotional connection and, 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 you know, basically convinces them to read further. So it goes like this. This is how millions have found a way to whiter, safer teeth. You see the results on every hand, perhaps, in teeth you envy. Send now for this simple 10-day test and see what your own teeth show. So as I said, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit weird, but uh, the fundamental persuasion principles are still there because we have this, which is like, what? What is this? Okay. Do you make these mistakes in English? Uh, in that very famous headline, the these part was the... Uh, the thing that really added depth to the whole thing. So I like this. This, it adds a little bit of curiosity. It adds a little bit of, of, of punch to it. Whiter, safer teeth. That's the benefit that our target audience wants. Um, like safer. I wouldn't have thought about safer nowadays. Uh, but it, it seems like uh, to those people, safer was definitely um, interesting. Maybe there were more infections because of to uh, tooth problems. You know, there wasn't really... Um, Actually, I think that there wasn't really antibiotics back then. When were antibiotics discovered? Somewhere around that time, maybe a little bit later. Okay, so maybe, you know, uh, like uh, problematic teeth could create like major health problems for you. So that's why safer is mentioned here. Then we have a little soft call to action because he immediately says, uh, send now for this simple 10 day test. So send now for this. It means that people should cut out this little... Uh, little part here uh, that says 10 day tube free so this is the offer itself i mean why shouldn't you right it's it's an irresistible offer in the sense because in those days there wasn't really that much competition between direct response marketing companies so it was enough to just say hey 10 day tube free get it now and i like how there's also a little bit of scarcity scarcity associated with this one because claude hopkins included a little element that says only one tube to a family so 
uh, obviously this is so that you know some people don't binge order a lot of these things uh, and don't you know resell them but it's also uh, there to add scarcity which increases the perceived value of these things but getting back back to the main body of the copy itself so we have a, a subhead which says why teeth this color and this is very similar to again my previous video that I did uh, from Claude Hopkins and it's interesting because even to this day, most marketers and even people who call themselves copywriters, they don't even have content sections in their ad itself. While we know for a fact that if you want to sell, you want to make your entire advertisement itself valuable because that's what people want. Like they don't care about your ad. They care about stuff that's interesting to them, that gives them value. And sometimes that's an ad. So why not make your ad seem like uh, a, a very valuable content piece with extra sales elements added to it. So we actually have very valuable, although I think it's a little bit dated, but back in those days, it was this was probably the status quo when it comes to uh, teeth problems. So he says, why teeth this color? There is on your teeth a vicious film. You can feel it with your tongue. So this vicious film, at least as I know, I'm not a dentist, but I know that you know this, this film is actually good for you nowadays like this is what I've heard because it protects your teeth but back in those days you know uh, Claude Hopkins said that it's uh, it's it's not good and that is what actually discolors it's not your teeth itself but the film on it and that's where the bacteria can also uh, start replicating and uh, and and produce bad odors and 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 tooth decay problems so uh, what's happening here? Well, uh, we're getting an introduction to the problem itself. And the problem is this vicious film. And I like how he also dimensionalizes things. So this gets people, people more invested uh, because he even says you can feel it with your tongue. So think about it. At this point, at this point as people are reading this, they're going to start doing this. They're going to start, oh, okay, I can feel it on my tongue. I can feel it on my teeth. Uh, they're going to start experimenting on themselves. And the more uh, they get deeper into your ad, the more uh, they're likely to buy this thing because it's just psychology. The more invested people become in something, the, the less likely uh, they are to actually let go of it. Okay, so that's an important part here. So vicious film with your tongue. Uh, then we agitate a problem. Uh, Claude Hopkins goes on to say that, you know, this film uh, is the teeth's greatest, greatest enemy. It dims them and destroys them. And then uh, we have a little bit of uh, copy that relates to how the traditional solutions don't work. So, you know, it's normal to try to brush your teeth, but even though you do, like, it's not enough on its own because you have this film uh, between teeth as well. So it's not good enough, okay? Uh, and the reason for this is because like for including these things is because we always want to uh, like highlight the problem a little bit because people only buy when they they sense they start feeling the burning pain that they are they are having a problem and that they start perceiving your product as the only solution to their more ideal situation so they have um, a current imperfect situation and this is their ideal situation that they want to get to like basically uh, to be one of the people from this image. It, so that's why this image itself is, is emotional. And then your product and your marketing is the thing that connects the two. It's very important. So after this part, we get an introduction to the unique mechanism of the problem. Again, in my previous videos, I explained many, many times what the unique mechanism of the problem and unique mechanism of the solution is. But in a very short, uh, like in a nutshell, it just means, you know, uh, why certain solutions cannot really solve the problem and how and why your product is different okay so on the surface it's, it's like that uh, and this counts as reason why copy very important thing because yes you want to appeal to people's emotions but you also want to give them uh like a logical argument because they're not stupid i think it was david ogilvy who said that you know your um your customer isn't stupid she's your wife that's what he said uh and he what no, actually, Eugene Schwartz said it. I don't know. Maybe Eugene Schwartz or, or David Ogilvy. If you know, by the way, leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, I'm, I don't remember at this point. But uh, 
it's a great quote because uh, it just reminds you that, you know, sometimes marketers, they, they start looking at the target audience as people in this vacuum, okay? Like they're, they're only numbers, they're only KPIs, they're only like leads or, or something like that. But they're all people, they have feelings, they have emotions, they have thoughts, they have beliefs. And uh, you don't want to look like think of them as stupid people because because they're not they may act like it many cases but they're not so uh the 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 crux of the whole equation here is that you want to give people reason why copy because they have to rationalize this to people like if uh if uh, a wife wants to purchase this uh pepsodent let's say this is a free uh, trial but let's just let's just say it's it's a free uh, product if they want to purchase it they're going to go to her husband and say honey i want to buy this because it has this new technology that destroys the film in my teeth that is actually causing the decay okay that's why you need reason why copy because it's a it's a very uh it's very easy to ident identify that with that and then as people are reading it they're gonna be like oh okay that makes sense and then they're going to be able to rationalize it later on as well so that when when you know their friends ask them why did you buy that well they can say the same unique mechanism things okay so that's what people remember actually so after the unique mechanism the problem uh we have more uh agitation again important to also like uh, sometimes use more emotional copy sometimes use more logical copy and to alternate the two uh but you always want to uh like appeal to both eventually so um, then we have a little uh, dental science hero's journey. So uh, again, in my previous videos, I've talked about how the hero's journey story structure is very important to uh, any sales argument. And here we don't have a story, but we have a little very mini story of, you know, how uh, scientists have tried to solve this problem, but they couldn't. So then after some time, after five years, they finally came up with uh, a special solution, which is obviously inside this Pepsodent product. And then uh, this is a claim. And what do we have to do with the claim, with the promise? We have to back it up with proof immediately. And then, just like that, Claude Hopkins, the good copywriter he was, he follows this up with proof. So we have the claim, you know, scientists finally discovered it after five years uh, and tests have proven it. So uh, we have the promise, then we have the proof, how, you know, millions of people everywhere are now using this. And then we have a little uh, unique selling proposition of how Pepsi then uses this technology and how, you know, that proof gets associated with the product itself. And then we have another um, subhead which says supplied on request. So this is another very... Uh, very progressive type of thing here because uh, it means that uh, it flips the script a little bit. So it says supplied on request. Uh, so it's not like, hey, buy this right now. I'm gonna bash you over the head with it. It's like, no, uh, you request it, okay? And then we give it to you. So supplied on request. It, it creates a little bit of, um, how should I say a little, it flips the script a little bit. It makes it more valuable to people, more something that they would want. Okay. It's like an invitation. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's a little demonstration plus invitation element here as well, because Claude Hopkins says a 10 day tube of Pepsodent is now sent to all who ask to one to 10,000 people daily. This is done to let everyone know quickly what it does. So it seems like from the reader's perspective that you're participating in this uh, in this big marketing uh, experiment, okay? Uh, in this huge thing. So there's a purpose motive to it. So it's just very different compared to like, hey, buy this because we wanna sell it to you. And then we have the unique mechanism of the solution. Uh, because we had the unique mechanism problem, how, you know, certain, what's the problem behind the problem? So why that problem uh, is, is there, why you have to experience it. And now we have an explanation, a reason why explanation uh, on how the product actually solves this problem. Uh, so how it works, it, it has to do with albumin and like, uh, you know, there's some, I wouldn't say chemistry, but a little bit of of, of, of more expert type of language here. But the, the, the purpose for this is just so that people can feel like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, uh, 
Pepsodent, you know, is based on pepsin, the digestant of albumin. The film is um, uh, albuminous matter. Uh, the object of Pepsodent is to dissolve it, then a day by day combat it. So it's a little bit diff. It's phrased a little bit. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a little bit complicated, different to our years. But think about it. It's a hundred years old, but. The persuasion aspects, now that we are at the end of the ad, you can see how it has the unique mechanism of the solution, the unique mechanism of the problem, reason why, copy, proof, uh, promise, uh, differentiation, unique selling proposition in a sense. So uh, it's, this is this is v was really, really, really cutting edge stuff back in the day. And even to this day, it's it will still do well if you think about it, the structure of it. So then after the unique mechanism of the solution, we have a call to action. The second one, actually, he just says, send the coupon for uh, a 10 day tube. And then we have a little bit of future pacing, like how your life is going to look like. Again, it's typical in every single copywriting scenario nowadays, but people like Claude Hopkins invented this stuff. So uh, he, he says how your, your teeth is go are going to look like, how you're going to feel, you know, just... Uh, bringing bringing the, your ideal future uh self closer to reality and then there's see for yourself no brainer and we have a uh call to action three which is cut out the coupon now so yeah that's it uh we have the coupon under it and then we have a little uh branding element here this has brand appeal pepso dance just so that people can easily identify it the new day dentry strikes I don't even know what that means, but I'm guessing it's a tagline. It has new in it, so it's probably, it was cutting edge back in the days. And then we have a little bit of a uh, thing like a scientific film combatant, which after five years test is now advised by leading dentists everywhere. Druggists supply the large tubes. So uh, this is proof. So we have the branding element, the tagline and uh, proof under it. And it also shows that little mini story that I mentioned, the mini story of how this product was created. And, you know, this whole thing could be expanded to a, a 10 times longer sales that are easily and probably it would sell even more nowadays uh, because longer copy usually sells more. Uh, but uh, but back in those days in newsletter, newspaper times, you know, this was all the all the real estate that you had to work with. And uh, at the end, we have a little very cheeky little thing. Uh, druggists supply the largest tubes. I think this is this is seeding the AOV boost element. What this means is that uh, as a marketer, you want to make sure that people spend more money with you on average. And AOV means average order value. So, uh, you know, as the company is paying for this advertisement, they want to get uh, a certain cost per acquisition. And they want to have uh, that customer who they just bought actually from traffic um, to spend as much money with them as possible. So that's why, you know, Claude Hopkins probably mentioned that, you know, druggists, you can find larger tubes. So if you like it, you can buy more there. So it's like, oh, okay, I like it. So why shouldn't I buy a larger tube? Uh, so this just ultimately creates more profit for the company. So yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, and, and now you know that Claude Hopkins was an original gangster copywriter he invented this crap basically and many many of the of the fundamentals are still as relevant today as they were a hundred years ago even though like advertising mediums changed and various other technologies change human psychology doesn't change so if you agree with that then make sure to smash that like button right now uh it definitely helps the video it helps the algorithm suggest this video to more people so that more people invest uh, interested in copywriting can discover these and they can discover the entire playlist and if you feel like you know this could be useful to some of your friends maybe copywriters marketers ceos business owners startups anything like that then make sure to share this video with them because uh it definitely is something that uh, can give them a lot of value and it helps out me as well and it makes you look like a great smart dude or gal. So thank you so much for watching once again. I really appreciate it and see you in the next one.